She got caught cheating in Miami and played victim. No, I'm sending it to her mom. So, so you're smoking in the elevator to go in a free room? Yep. Yep, that's right, Tanya. This guy from Minneapolis is gonna is gonna is gonna knock her. Thank you. The workers are gonna come with us too. And it's the same kid in the video that I already got earlier when he was smoking on the elevator in here. You just the hallway. That's how he choked me right now. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Do you hear the lies? The lies. Yeah, thousand years. <clears throat> what up, YouTube? Back with another one for us to get into. You already know what it is, man. How y'all doing out there, man? This one right here is an uh, interesting one, man. You know, chick gets caught up cheating on her dude in uh, out of town. You know what I'm saying? And then she tries to play victim. So we're going to see what it's about, man. Most definitely. I know a lot of people out there that have been cheated on. Sensitive subject. You know what I'm saying? But it's how you handle it, how you bounce back. Before we do, man, I appreciate it if y'all help run this thing up by clicking that like button. Making sure you subscribe and, not and your notification bell is on as well. Share the content and all of that, man. I appreciate it. Let's go on and jump into this and get it, you know, get into it, man. She got caught cheating in Miami and played victim. Yeah, uh, no, I'm sending it to her mom. <laughs> so, so you're smoking in the elevator to go in a free room? Yep. Yep, that's right, Tanya. This guy from Minneapolis is gonna is gonna is gonna knock her. Thank you. The workers are gonna come with this too. And it's the same kid in the video that I already got earlier when he was smoking on the elevator in here. You just hit the hallway. That's how he choked me right now. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Do you hear the lies? The lies. You got a thousand years. That's why I came back here too. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Because you, mind you, me, her best friend, and her manager found her sleeping at a tavern and they oh, saved her from getting arrested. Oh, yeah. And I go. So come on. Let's. I'm not going anywhere. You brought him to escort it. So walk in the door. Mr. Carlton O'Connors. Yeah. Let her come in. Look at that. Have a good time. I'm gonna run it back for y'all because it was so short. I apologize, man. Um, you know, I didn't realize how short this video was, man. I'm just paying more attention to the uh, you know, the title or whatever. But yeah, man, you know, I will say, man, you know. I assure you, her stomach is tight. You know what I mean? You can tell. And she she look like she getting it in, man. She ain't, you know, she ain't care, bro. She you def definitely tell she knows she caught. She's embarrassed. She's hoping this shit don't get crazy. She says something about he put his hands on her. And I ain't gonna lie, man. You can kind of see around her neck. It look a little red. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. But, uh, yeah, man, she doing her thing, bro. You know what I mean? She kicking it, man. And she like, forget it. I'm already caught. I'm going to keep going, you know what I mean? And I know that hurt him and that hurt her as well, you know what I'm saying? So she got to clean this stuff up once the fun is over. And I've noticed that, in, you know, throughout my life that when women get caught, they just kind of got this attitude like, fuck it, I'm caught. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. <laughs> and that shit just get worse. Like, they don't even care, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's just how they save face and try to you know, excuse what they doing, you know what I mean? I'm not saying all women, but I, I have seen that personally, uh, you know, real talk. But, um, yeah, man, and, and, you know, she just uh, slammed the door in his face, you know what I'm saying, man? She ain't got on no bra or nothing, man. She just, she out here kicking it, you know what I mean? But, yeah, let's run this back real quick, and we're going to do our thing and wrap this up. You already know what it is, man. She got caught cheating in Miami and played victim. Yeah, uh, no, I'm sending it to her mom. <laughs> That's so, so you're smoking in the elevator to go in a free room? Why are you sending yeah, it to her right, mom? Yeah. Yeah. It's done. This guy from Minneapolis is going gonna, is gonna, is gonna to knock her right now. Thank you. The worker is going to come with this suit. And it's the same kid in the video that I already got earlier when he was smoking on the elevator in here. You just hit the hallway. That's how he choked me right now. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Do you hear the lies? The lies. You got a thousand years. She, she knows she caught. Like, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Because you, my 
on me, her best friend, and her manager found her sleeping at a tavern and they oh. saved her from being arrested. Oh, and I go. So come on. Let's. I'm not going anywhere. You go home to escort it. So walk in the door. It's this cold right here. General Connors. Don't. Let her come in. Look at that. Have a good time. Oh, got to be more careful out here. You got to know you messing with. Real talk, man. Um, yeah, man. That's crazy. Enter that one, man. I appreciate it, man. Y'all give me y'all thoughts, man. Y'all post y'all thoughts and comments, man. I appreciate it. Like I said, once again, make sure y'all hit that like button, man. That's very important. It helps build the channel. Helps put us in a, you know, a more uh, powerful position. You know what I mean? Real talk. But I appreciate all the love always, all the vibe and the rocking out with me. I make it clear every time that, you know, without... My loyal followers and supporters, and you know, uh, you know, I wouldn't be where I'm at right now, and I'm very grateful. You know what I'm saying? I'm not where a lot of channels are, um, and I'm not in competition with anyone. I'm just doing my own thing. You know what I mean? I may not have the, you know, the content that everybody want to see, but I'm doing my thing. You feel me? And I'm very grateful. And I'm very blessed, and I just want to, you know, share that as well as let y'all know I appreciate it. Real talk. But yeah, man, y'all let me know what y'all think about this, one, man. You know, let me know if you, you know, you've ever been cheated on, how you handle it. Me, personally, uh, I would not, you know, handle getting cheated on like this. I always, as a man, thought that was the most sucker, weak, simping shit you could ever do is this type of stuff. It hurts. I get it. You know, I've, I've gone through breakups. I've been cheated on and all that before. It hurts. But you can't go, you know, doing the extra, man, losing your mind, becoming a stalker, um, you know, wanting to delete yourself and people in the situation. That's that's too much, man. Just take the time, be by yourself, heal, you know, grow, learn from the experience, whether you was wrong or whatever, and then get back out there. You know what I'm saying? It's always more fish in the ocean, the sea, the pine, the lake. I don't give a damn what you call it. It's always more so it's no need to go overboard. I think it's real weak when men, you know, want to record and, you know, want to fight the other dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, walk away like a boss. You know what I'm saying? Leave that that negative ending and energy with that person. You know what I'm saying? That's doing the wrong. And don't take that on yourself. Don't dirty yourself up for other people, man. Just because they done got themselves dirty, don't mean you got to get yourself dirty. You feel me? So, man, yeah, man, y'all let me know what y'all think about this most definitely, man. Post y'all thoughts and comments. I appreciate the love and support once again. And I really encourage y'all to continue to love on yourself. Understand what that means. Understand what that entails. Um, as well as, you know, loving on people that are genuinely there for you, man. You know what I'm saying? Don't forget about the people that was truly, truly, really there for you. During your good times as well as your tough times. And remember them and put them in position to do that big one too as well. But yeah, man, y'all make sure y'all stay on that grind. Till next time, you already know what it is. Cause nigga, I like money and nice shit. My swag is priceless. My bag is righteous. You mad? I got the.